Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you're cross-watching, feel free to reverse the rows. Since energies are fluid, I could be picking up on your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, okay? All right, also, I do want to welcome you if you are new. Remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you are notified once I upload any videos, okay? Especially since I'm going to start uploading new content this month. All right, so let's get started for Gemini. The Hierophant. Hmm. Some of y'all are seeking spiritual advice on something. There's something that you, uh, you're not sure what to do. So you are seeking some spiritual advice. Others of you, you're letting go of uh, your traditional values. You're letting go of your conditioning. Things you were taught or things that were deeply ingrained into you, you're starting to, you're starting to release them here. Oh, wow. There's some kind of, okay. I'm just going to say this card came out when I was pre-shuffling for you all. So the reason some of you are letting go of your beliefs is because you're starting to see that it's not It's not fair. There's some kind of double standard here. So some of y'all, it might be a marriage that you're in or a long-term relationship that you're in that you are starting to uh, not believe that things should work the way you've been taught that they should work because you're starting to see that you're getting the shorter end of the stick here where one person is getting more than you are where someone else is benefiting more than you are so it's kind of an unbalance here you're starting to realize that the rules are not fair basically and that the way that this was set up is not in your benefit so you're starting to change the way you look at things here some of y'all are dealing with a Taurus King of Cups, he's been, uh, he's very popular this month. It keeps coming up here. Some of y'all are dealing with a uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or this could just be someone who's, what is this? Uh, he's, uh, he's emotionally balanced, but he also doesn't show too much or express too much of his emotions. So some of y'all are dealing with someone who you feel like you're the only one that's giving emotionally. This person may have their, when it comes to their, their foundation, they have everything that they need. They're independent. They have, you know, they're financially secure. If they needed to take care of the home, they can. Some of you, this is what this person is for you. They're the one that take care of the home. You might have a setup where there's like one parent is at home and the other is, is the provider. So some of you are trying, is starting to realize that that dynamic is not for you. You're not judging the, the, the that kind of system you're just saying hey look I tried it it didn't work a lot of you are changing your belief systems here this is uh with someone who is uh a soulmate like you have a past life connection with this person I see a balance coming in for you that's because I see two sixes here and six is 
basically balance. It's like two holes coming together. Six has the same vibration as sex, and, and sex is two people, two trinities, your sun, your moon, and your rising sign make that triangle, which makes one whole complete person. So when two come together, you get six, you get sex, same vibration. So there's a balance happening. It's like two holes coming together here. Let me... Uh, see what else we get for you. It's time to make a decision on whether you want to move forward or if this is where you want to be. Yeah. Some of y'all are having a hard time walking away. Look at this. You act crippled. You act like you can't make it without someone else. It's almost like you feel bound. You feel stuck to this. Change is needed. You got two fives. Okay. The Hierophant is the number five. And then you got the five of Pentacles. So uh, you're being urged to make a change here, Gemini. What's going on with the air signs this month? Okay. We have a card that fell out. And then we have one that flipped over. And guess what it is? It's a five. You have a five of swords sitting right next to the five of Pentacles. Pinnacles, and then look at this. You have the tower. Something's about to happen. There's a shakeup needed here. Some of y'all are not listening to the warning. Some of you are not taking on the warnings that's been sent to you. You have triple five now. You got five, five, five. Change. A big change is needed, and that's expressed with the tower. Okay? Can't stress it enough here. Can't. You about to experience some kind of big shakeup concerning this person. You're being urged to leave the past in the past and move forward here. You have the world in your hand. That's endless possibilities. But some of you feel lack. You feel incomplete without someone else. I see the balance trying to come in, but change is needed first. You have two sixes here, two fives here. The change is necessary. There's some kind of... um. This is an empty victory where you fight a battle. You might hurt some people that you love, but you, you think you won, you didn't. Here. Let me clarify this tower. Please clarify this tower for me. Okay, so nothing's coming out for the tower. Nothing's coming out. The tower is just a shakeup, basically. They're saying, hey, look, the tower is what the tower is. You're about to experience a shakeup here. Something's about to change because it's trying to get you out of this feeling here. It's concerning this person. Let me see if I can clarify this person. See what happens. My goodness, what in the world is going on? Clarity for Gemini, please. Okay, good. We got something. Whoop. You need to stop holding on. You got the four of pentacles in reverse. Stop holding on here. Or this is some of you are making the decision to stop holding on to this person.
You need to release him. Or her. It's not gender specific. Oh, man. There's about to be a shake up for you. I feel like there's a... There's more here. I'm going to pull out two more cards. I had to do the same for Libra. So you air signs are really having me. <laughs> Let's see. What else do you have for Libra here? Since you're not clarifying. I mean, I'm going to do the extended. And what I'll do is ask lovers. There's some kind of choice. You have another six. So you have three sixes, three fives. So the balance comes once this change, this shakeup happens. But you have some kind of choice. Some kind of decision is needed. Gemini. This could be... Well, this is regarding the person that you're dealing with. You have you have what it takes. You can do it. All right. You got the you got the strength card. So, it's going to be hard. This is going to be hard for you. Some of y'all have to understand what this is saying is that it's time for you to start depending on yourself. Stop looking for someone else to complete you or make you feel whole. Stop always acting like you're crippled when someone's trying to leave. Like they're doing something to you. Like they're leaving you out in the cold here. As soon as they're ready to leave, you, you, uh, you, for some reason, you can't walk. You need crutches. So it's on, you're depending on someone for your, either your tangible needs, like your physical needs, material needs. This person is the breadwinner here. So you depend on this person for everything. This is someone who you have a strong attachment with. This is like some kind of soul contract you're paying out here. But it's expiring. It's it's over. It's time for you to get the lesson. They all honestly it's like no more softball here. There's no more softball. You got the four of pinnacles, five of pinnacles, six of pinnacles. That's just letting me know you've been already given specific steps on what need to be done. Okay, from some kind of spiritual leader or spiritual advisor or someone who you go to for spiritual advice. You've been already told what you need to do. Okay, the fact that the towers show up, let me know look, that the mm -mm, universe is not going to sit around anymore. It, there's about to be a huge shake up here. Huge shake up here. You got three fives, major change. You got tower, major change. Okay, this change is trying to bring you in balance. You got the lover's card, which is the six. You got the six of cups. You got the six of pentacles here. Three sixes. They're trying to bring in that union, two holes together. They're trying to do it here. Two. Bring them together. Okay. That brings balance. It's a balance. But you're going to have what it takes here. I'm actually I'm excited to see what comes up on the extended. Because I'm going to ask, what else does Gemini need to know here? There was some kind of lesson that you're supposed to get out of this. This person came into your life so that you two can close out a cycle and pay off a major karmic debt here. There was a purpose here. But this holding on, this holding on is not going to help you. So I see some of you... Just, look, some of you already released this. But the rest of you have not. Okay, this is some kind of long-term relationship or marriage or something like that. Here, you're being urged to make that decision, okay? You have what it takes. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the extended. The link is in the description box, okay? I'm just going to ask, what else does Gemini need to know concerning this situation? And then I'm going to ask them for any additional guidance, okay? 
see what comes up, especially concerning this person. All right, Gemini, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. So, same vibration as the Empress, which is the number three card, and she brings in abundance, too. Then you have the number three, Blossoming Abundance. So, oh, and I just noticed you have the three of Pentacles. So, you guys keep getting these triple digits here.